What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today's video is gonna be very interesting. Um <laughs> what? I don't know, man. You're having some weird symptoms. I am, but it's like not symptoms that I'm enjoying at all. It's not. And I'm a little tad bit concerned, honestly. But I'm not trying to let it get to me. I'm trying to like be in a good mood and stuff. But chronic pain sucks. She's having pregnancy symptoms but these are also the symptoms that she had when you had the cyst mm -hmm. when you had to get your surgery so god forbid it's not the cyst hopefully you know it's something else i don't know what that noise was but that's not i think that was a bench in front of us um but yeah guys so let me talk to you real quick while isaiah concentrates on the road right now i am on my way to my gynecologist i know that you guys have been you know seeing a lot of at the next light turn right I know you guys have been, you know, uh, keeping track of my endo journey and stuff like that. And you guys have seen me talking to this doctor before. I'm not going to bring you guys in with me just because I feel like they're very private there. Um, and I don't want to push it. So, uh, yeah, pretty much I've been having all of these symptoms. Like, I've been nauseous. I've been having breast tenderness, which is weird because, like, I've looked up symptoms for the medication that I'm on. And a lot of it was like... Oh yeah, like cramps, spotting, stuff like that. But now I'm having like breast soreness, TMI, but I'm in the bathroom like all day pretty much. And I my stomach hurts, like I'm just not okay. I am in shambles. So I'm trying to figure out the root cause. I have doctor's appointments for like my stomach. I have doctor's appointments for this. So let's just like rule out the basic stuff first. I wanna know like if I could be pregnant, which I don't know if that's the case. I don't think that is the case. But um, I also want to know like if my sisters are back because if God forbid they are, I want to take care of that right away. Uh, so yeah, not gonna talk your ear off, but that's pretty much the gist of everything that's going on right now. So yeah, we'll meet you guys when I'm at the doctor's office. What's getting me is that you have breast tenderness. Yeah, that's, that's never like, happened. That, it's a weird symptom. So that's why I'm like, mm, why is this happening? <laughs> that is really weird. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't think you're pregnant. I, However, it's weird that you're just having pregnancy symptoms. And then on top of that, I've been super <sighs> bloated. Like I'm always bloated. I was gonna say, you um, usually are always bloated. But you tell me. this is like super, super bloated. Like looking like I'm six months pregnant. It's either one or two things. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's either a really bad IBS flare up Okay. Or, God forbid, your cysts are coming back. Which, at that case, we got to go through the whole thing of what we went through last time, which is they just removed them, and then that's that. Not the end of the Surgery. world. Not the end of the world. But, obviously, we don't want to go that route. Yeah. But, if it's something that's going to make me feel better, I... I've grown out of the like fear of surgeries because mm -hmm. um, I understand that my condition is severe so I haven't. if I have to go through all these surgeries to feel better then I'll just do it because I'd rather you know do that than suffer all the time and be in chronic pain so I get scared every is. time. I'm not gonna lie I get scared too obviously it's only been once and that was like I was so so scared for that surgery waking up was not fun it's not necessarily I'm scared mm -hmm. it's more so like anxious like can we just get this over with like I wish the surgery was only like five minutes like <laughs> yeah last time I had the surgery I had to stay in the hospital for two days for like observation I don't think they do that out here so that's what I'm scared of no, it's like it. if you need it they'll do it they're not just gonna send you home. who's calling me Oh my god. Guys, hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll see you <laughs> guys when we get out. One second. I gotta talk to my accountant. <laughs> Alright, Infinite Fam, so I'm back in the car and I am ready to give you guys an update. Just an update, so, guys. Uh, I don't know anything yet. So we're gonna be hearing together for the first time. Um, So he did kind of like a pelvic exam. You're pregnant. I'm not pregnant. <sighs> Um, which yeah, it's a little disappointing. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind being pregnant, honestly. See, don't say that, and then next video you say, I'm not ready. You know what? Like, I don't think you're ever gonna be ready to have I'm a baby. Not ready. That's and how you say it. Just I'm like gonna that. be such a good mom. You're like, I feel like I'm gonna be a, the best mom ever. I'm gonna be like the cool mom, but also like, anyway. Uh, side, we're getting sidetracked talking about babies. Are you gonna just disregard what I just said? What? I didn't hear you. I said you're gonna be a MILF. 
Oh, period. All right, I just had to get that out. Um, but yeah, guys, so pretty much everything's looking good. Um, I have an ultrasound that I have to get done because I expressed to him the pain that I was feeling and I've been having some back pain and usually when I had my cysts that were bursting, that's what would happen um, is that like I would have all this pain and the cysts will be leaking and all that stuff. So he wants to make sure that none of that is happening and so he scheduled it for March 29th which is at the end of the month it's a little far but it's all right as long as I have the appointment um, I also asked for a full hormone panel and he said because my hormones are out of whack because of the my femory, it would be like no reason for me to do that because the my femory, uh lowers all of my estrogen did you tell him what the my femory is Oh, so my fembri, if you guys don't know what that is, it is a um, kind of, med it's a medication for people with endometriosis um, and people that have like severe bleeding, PCOS, uh, periods, stuff like that. And pretty much it lowers all of your estrogen and gives back like 0.1% uh, of it. Um, and it's tough because it does mess with your hormones but from what he said it's actually been helping my uterus and my uterus is mobile as he said and pretty much means that um with endo prior when i would get a pelvic exam it would be so painful that i would honestly cry isaiah can attest to that so wait what why do you have pain though um he basically said that the reason why i'm having pain is the pretty much like my body absorbs the medication differently from day to day so last week i was experiencing so much pain breast tenderness and he said they're all normal symptoms of being on the myfembrine so these are side effects it's yeah pretty much side effects from the medication and it depends on what i'm doing from day to day that you know my body's just absorbing it differently than it would the previous week or the previous day even so yeah that's pretty much everything that we discussed all right guys so right now i know that was a lot um we're gonna go out to get some lunch now and then we'll take it back home mm-hmm So we just finished up eating. I want to apologize to you guys. I feel like I haven't been talking to you guys much this vlog. However, I'm dealing with a lot of like our like business stuff, like tax stuff like that. Very stressful at the moment. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys I'm sorry. I feel like I haven't been talking to you guys much. I mean, honestly, like it's okay. I know that they're gonna forgive you and they love you anyway. A lot of, I, I'm getting gray hairs. Yes, but it's <laughs> literally, gonna be... I'm literally getting gray hairs. Literally, my baby. Oh. This is the only time I'm stress free. Oh. This is the only time I'm stress free. Look at them. I missed you. I missed you. Come here, come here, come here. Give me a hot dog. Give me a hot dog. Give me a hot dog. You want the hot dog? Looks like he missed us too. You want the hot dog? My hot dog. My hot dog. <laughs> my hot dog. Oh. Ow. I look like a trampoline you. Get him, baby. Get him. Get him. Run, run, run. Oh, oh you give it to mommy. Bro, I'm over it. Sweet boy. I'm over it. Babe, you look like Patrick Starr. I don't even care anymore, man. <laughs> Just whatever. Do whatever with me. I don't care no more. All right. Uh, what are you going through right now, sir? Bro, everything. <laughs> Then get him. Stress ain't get the him. word. Stress ain't the word. What's the matter, baby? You know what'll help me though? What? If you give me a full body massage. Not even a full body, give me a back massage. Babe, really? Yeah, that'll help me a lot. But do it right. Like get the oil so you know it's not. Do it right. Yeah, so it's not like friction and all that with like dry. Like get the oil so everything's Who slides. said that I'm even agreeing to do this? Like. I'm just saying. I don't see the issue. I see an issue. You're stressing I'm supposed me out. to be You're the one getting a massage. How? Because I'm the one that be in pain all the time. I'm in pain mentally. Oh, shut Which up. Which one's worse? I'm in pain mentally and physically. No, no, no. You got it. You got it with that. I'm exactly. not going to. 
we, we're both we're both going through it oh yeah we're both going through it you're physically i'm mentally however this is where the video ends all <laughs> right so if you guys enjoyed today's video i know it wasn't anything except uh just an update on life um thought janice was pregnant she's not however maybe sometime soon who knows right maybe we'll see so um yeah if you guys like today's video make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button and with all that being said we'll see you guys in the next video this was just an update so yeah say bye nene nene come here give me the hot dog give me the hot dog